So I'm going to be showing you how to make this pony bead mushroom. So for this mushroom, you're only going to need 16 beads and like a foot of string. It's really not that much string. To start off, you're going to thread two beads. If I can find, you're going to thread two beads onto your string. Once you have that, you're going to take your other end and thread it through those two beads as well. And then you're going to pull it tight. Like that. You're going to want to make sure that your tails on each side are about the same length. They don't have to be completely even, but you want them as even as you can get them to be. Your next step will be to string on four beads. You can string them on in whatever order you would like. I'm doing red, white, and then two more red. Shoot, I cannot do this today. There's my white. And then... Two more red. And then you'll put the tail end of the other string through those four beads. And then pull it tight. Just like that. Just like so like that. Your next step will to be will be to string on six beads. I'm doing four red and two white. White on each end. So there's white, then four reds, then your last white. After that, you will take your other string and put it through the beads like you did on the other two rows. And then pull it tight. Just like that. Oops. Sometimes it does that. That's okay, though. Now, this next step might be a little tricky for some people. But you will take one of your ends, put it through the second bead, and then go through easier to, if you just watch because I'm not good at explaining but you just go through these three beads so your string will come out on the other side like this so you go under this one and then through the next three and then you will do the same thing on the other side. Go under that one and then through the next three. I lost my string. I don't know where it went. There it is. So to adjust these, you have to pull the white, the end pieces up, and then you can just tighten them. You might have to do this a few different times to get it to stay flush with the other rows, but that's okay. Not everything is perfect the first time you do it. This is my first time doing it with stretchy cord, so it may look a little weird. That's okay. So you set these two strings up to add the final stem. See, they come through here, and then go through these two beads. I'll show you. So, 
I think it would be a lot easier if you had longer string than I do, so maybe go a little bit more than a foot. I did not plan that well, but it's okay. I'll still be able to get through this. So just take those two and thread them through like you did the first row and the second row. And then you do the same with the next two. I can't grab the string. It's difficult when you have very short nails. And then there you go. You just tie it off with a simple square knot. Just like you're tying your shoes. Do that twice, just so it'll stay, and you fix it a little bit, and then there you go. You have your own little pony bead mushroom.